Mauritius and Seychelles, 1,760 kilometers apart. These two African countries are both members of the SADC and COMESA. They share several common characteristics, namely the Creole language, the status of a small island state, democracy and economic prosperity. In the ancient past, the Mauritius and the Seychelles were part of a single block that included Madagascar and India as well. Their current location in the Indian Ocean are due to the detachment of this mass. Today, Mauritius and Seychelles co-manage an area of 396,000 square kilometers of the continental shelf of the Mascarenes, almost equivalent to the surface of Germany. This platform is 215 times bigger than the land area of Mauritius and 870 times larger than that of the Seychelles. The continental shelf is an underwater landmass which extends from a continent. Under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, such platform is the stretch of the seabed adjacent to the shores of a particular country to which it belongs. The latter having the right to exploit the resources therein, namely hydrocarbon. Instead of disputing over the sovereignty of this area, both Mauritius and Seychelles peacefully agreed to manage it commonly. They proceeded with a joint submission before the United Nations, which validated the Joint Management Area project. Both countries have decided to mutually exploit the resources in this shelf. All projects will be co-funded and any benefits will be shared equally. The partnership takes a shape initially with an exploration in perspective to detect petrol and gas. Beginning of this year, we have uh, requested uh, the uh, potential companies uh, to give us their proposal uh, to conduct what we call uh, seismic surveys in the region. And uh, I'm glad now to announce that uh, the exercise has been completed and we are going to award uh, a contract to a, uh, a multi-client company uh, from UK. So they are going to, to start in fact, the work is from uh, next year, and we are hoping that uh, the very first survey is going to be completed in the course of uh, 2018. The idea of a multi-client survey is, of course, to have uh, as maximum as possible in terms of data coverage uh, of the area to know about the prospectivity. So once uh, we have, uh, we we, are, we acquire such information, then uh, the area would be open uh, for potential, uh, let's say, bidders for oil and gas exploration. Mauritius and Seychelles, we, we have constructed and built up uh, a relationship uh, during all these years of uh, collaboration. Very, very important, I would say, is also the uh, element of uh, equity and equal sharing in all our endeavor. So whenever there is a, a decision uh, in terms of uh, uh, cost sharing, for example, or even benefit sharing in the future, so all that element uh, rely on uh, an equal sharing. So I would say that's one of the driver that has keep uh, this relationship. Mauritius and Seychelles, we are both of, uh, belong to the same uh, SADC and Comisa community. So in terms of the, uh, the marketing aspect, in terms of the uh, integration aspect of, of the region, uh, it's not strange that now Mauritius and Seychelles are being cited as an example of joint collaboration. Uh, this has cascaded, I would say, in a number of uh, initiatives in the region where you see now uh, that such model of collaboration uh, is being uh, emulated. Uh, I can talk of, uh, for example, the example of Kenya and his its neighbors that are trying to emulate such kind of collaboration. Even Tanzania is getting into that kind of collaboration. Uh, talking of uh, the re I mean the closest African partners. 
political will is behind the success of this first world ever partnership. Over the past years, several meetings between the heads of state and government on both sides contributed to this specific deal. The last one being the state visit of the president of Seychelles to Mauritius from 26 to 28 October 2017. Danny Four was received with full honors by the Prime Minister Pravin Jagnat, a sign of the friendly and long-standing bilateral relations. Both personalities discussed common projects, namely this joint management area. As you are aware, the United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf has conferred upon both Mauritius and Seychelles jurisdiction over an area of 396,000 square kilometers of extended continental shelf in the Mascarene Plateau region, now referred to as the Joint Management Area, over which our two countries exercise sovereign rights jointly for the purpose of exploring and exploiting seabed resources. To this effect, the Treaty Concerning the Joint Management of the Extended Continental Shelf in the Mascarene Plateau region has been signed by both countries and provides an equitable framework to govern the joint management of the extended continental shelf in a manner which is sustainable and consistent with the precautionary principle and the protection of the marine environment and biological diversity. This treaty provides for the establishment of a three-tier joint administrative structure consisting of a ministerial council, a joint commission, and a designated authority for the management of the joint management area. We are glad that the joint commission is meeting on a regular basis alternatively in Mauritius and Seychelles, and good progress has been made so far in regard to the proposed opening of the joint management area for commercial exploration. For the Seychelles president, this is a win-win collaboration for both countries. Marine developments, he said, contribute to capacity building in the region. We are two nations that have placed our oceanic space at the core of international debate about sustainable development. The blue, or ocean economy, is our present, and of course, our future. The joint management of our extended continental shelf holds great potential to harness the powers of the ocean for development. In doing so, our joint efforts contribute to the transformation of our seas into space for development, economic growth, and shared opportunities. Indeed, the oceans hold vast potential to advance our prosperity and meet the challenges facing Africa and our world. Seychelles and Mauritius have shared interest in the security and stability of the Indian Ocean and in Africa. I know that we will continue to work together in responding to maritime security threats to keep our oceans safe and our countries prosperous. Both executive heads also consider this joint management model as a way to reinforce maritime surveillance in this part of the Indian Ocean. The operators are currently positioning themselves for the commercial exploitation of this common platform. Business Mauritius, the coordinator of the Mauritian private sector, sees enormous opportunities in the co-management of this area. I think we have to recognize it's a first at the world level for two small island states in the Indian Ocean to work together for the development, for the exploration of the seabed, which brings an additional 400,000 square kilometers for exploration. This is extremely important. Secondly, we have to recognize that the Indian Ocean is the least explored uh, ocean, and therefore the potential is huge. And it's great that those two islands could work together 
And now that we have a signature that has been signed and there are commercial interests, we can move forward. Thirdly, in terms of what's happening at the Africa level, because there we have discovered huge uh, reserves of uh, natural resources and definitely there will be major exploration at the level of Africa. So given those three uh, elements in the new context, I think this development in terms of exploring jointly the seabed is opportune and also comes at the time that it can help the two countries really to go in a new level of development. Why? First and foremost, I think for the exploration of hydrocarbon, of oil and gas, we know that will be, there is potential. But more importantly, at the level of polymetallic nodules, whereby we can have the rare earth elements, and we know that the rare earth elements are extremely important in all the high-tech products. And there is a major race for the rare earth elements. It is very clear that the management of the jointly Seychelles and Mauritius of the shelf is a major opportunity for Mauritius and for the region, especially at a time then when Mauritius, we are looking at the region because we want to become a regional player at the level of Indian Ocean and Africa. To properly manage this maritime territory, the two governments have agreed on the establishment of the Secretariat of the Joint Management Area in the Seychelles, while the Director General of this authority will be appointed by Mauritius. Meanwhile, the Joint Commission on this project is meeting regularly with technicians from both countries working as a single body. Its next meeting is scheduled for January 2018 in Port Louis. The objective is to ensure an optimal exploitation of this extended continental shelf and at the same time promote this model of regional integration as a tool for mutual progress, peace and prosperity in the region.